Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. My mother passed away on Wednesday, 26th October, 2022. This is my first Ramadan without my beloved mom. She became 67 years old. May Allah have mercy on her soul. Forgive her sins and elevate her status in Jannah. Amen. My family and I buried her on October 27th. The last days up until and after her soul departed were very hard. My mother was diagnosed with lung cancer. The doctors operated her and removed it, but her lungs did not function as they should have after the operation. She got a serious condition known as ARDS, which caused fluid to build up in her lungs. The doctors put her on a respirator, hoping to save her life. Just a few days before she died, the doctor said she's getting better. They woke her up from coma. She had a pipe operated through her throat in order to breathe. Even though she was awake now, after being in deep sleep for two weeks, she couldn't talk. When I asked her for something, she just nodded and shook her head very slowly. But she was in pain, so I didn't want to say too much. I could see she was crying when I got in motion in front of her. So all I kept saying was that it will be okay, inshallah. Allah will heal you. Everyone is making dua for you. Zishan, my brother, is making umrah for you. My dad is regularly sacrificing animals and sending the meat to orphanages for you. The doctors are saying that you are getting better. Ya Allah, how could I know that Allah had decided so differently? I used to hold her warm hands every day at the hospital. But now her hand was cold. Her face was cold. She had gone back to her Rabb. Her last night was very tough on me. The doctor had said she'll most likely die in the next 24 hours because her blood is getting sour. Her lungs are not able to pump out CO2. And if she survives the next 24 hours, she will not be able to live, they said. Her lungs are too damaged. Getting that news was very hard. It was very difficult to digest. I still kept on begging Allah to cure her. But my dua shifted a little bit. And I started saying to Allah that if, if he had decided that her time had come, then have mercy on her soul, make it easy for her and forgive her. I stayed at the hospital until 3 a.m. that night, reciting Surah Yaseen at her, so that if her time had come, the soul could find comfort in the words of Allah. But still hoping for a miracle to happen, I went home, slept a couple of hours, came back, her face had turned yellow. Her soul was about to depart. I said to her repeatedly, hoping to reach her, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, making dua that Allah fills her field of vision with white angels, the angels of mercy. Her heart stopped. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. My beloved mummy, whom I love so much and would give my life to save, left me and returned to her Lord. Death is haq, paradise is haq, and jahannam is haq. I put all my trust in Allah when I asked him to cure her. The Prophet وسلم, said, There is no Muslim who calls upon his Lord with their dua, in which there is no sin or severing of family ties, but Allah will give him one of three things. Either he will answer his prayer quickly, or he will store the reward for it in the hereafter, or he will divert an equivalent evil away from him. They, the Sahaba said, we will say more dua. He said, Allah's bounty is greater. We asked Allah for life for my mother. I begged Allah so much to give me one more chance, just one. I said to Allah to serve my beloved mother. But since he didn't give me that, I'm confident that our dua must have prevented something worse for her. So I accept Allah's decision, for indeed he knows what is good for me and what was good for my mother. And he is more merciful to his servants than any human being ever can be to his or her beloved. My mother was a pious woman. She taught me and my siblings to read the Quran. She prayed her five daily prayers. She was a good wife to her husband. She was a loving mother to her children. She used to love reciting the Quran so much. In Ramadan, she completed the Quran multiple times. Her sons established Islam net, the greatest, in my opinion, Islamic organization in the whole country. Her sons are now establishing the first of its kind mega mosque and dawah center in Norway, which will serve as a sadaqah jariah for her 
all the way until the day of judgment. And inshallah, just wait and see. We will do so much more khair, all of which will be added to her scale of good deeds because she is the reason that we're able to do the things we're doing in his path. Right now, we're in Ramadan, the best time of the year to give sadaqah. And I have decided that I want to establish a masjid waqf on behalf of my mother, an endowment that would finance the running cost of our mega masjid project, and inshallah many more must to come. To do that, I need at least one million dollars. I myself am giving sadaqah on behalf of my mother for this, but honestly, I can't do it alone. The biggest regret I have is that I didn't do enough for my mom. So I really want to do this for my mother. Would you like to help me establish this masjid waqf today? in this blessed month of Ramadan. If you donate, you will be financing the maintenance of the greatest masjid in Norway and helping me establish a sadaqa jariya for my beloved mother. Please, click below to donate towards the establishment of this masjid waqf. Jazakallahu khaira.